I'm going to show you how to best use $110,000 and stay out of high-risk neighborhoods. Anastasia and Oren, this is your video. Let's dive in. For the price, I mean, this is actually a really nice house. A little bit more rough, a little more ragged. It's going to keep those values high. Here's quarter mile comps. There's $260,000 houses right down the street. You'll be able to put your offer through me and then after you close, Holden Wise, we can handle the property management. We'll even be able to help you with the insurance. We have lenders who will write loans for investors in all 50 states. This deal is 100% James Wise approved. James Wise denied. Hey, real estate investors. Welcome to another episode of the MLS Search and Analysis Show here on Holton Wise TV. As always, I'm your host, James Wise. Behind the scenes, I got my guy Tommy putting together all those fancy charts you guys are coming to know and love. Today's video is for two clients of mine, Anastasia and Oren. You folks are out of San Francisco, and uh, you guys have $110,000 in cash. We want to get some multifamily real estate out here in the Cleveland market. <clears throat> We're going to use financing, right? We're going to stretch that cash as far as we can because, look, folks, real estate, that's why I love real estate, okay? If you want to invest in another business, like say you want to open a bar or, I don't know, you want to invest in the stock market, right? You got $110,000, you invest $110,000 in the stock market, you get $110,000 worth of stocks. Whereas with real estate, we can quadruple that, right? We use residential financing if we're buying properties between one unit and four units that folks are going to live in. And we only need to put down 25%. The bank's going to come in and loan us the other 75%. So realistically, we could stretch that one ten to $440,000 worth of real estate uh, using this financing, and it's the best type of financing ever, folks. It is 30-year fixed interest, low interest. It's tax deductible. You talk about good debt and bad debt. This is the best debt you, ca you can possibly ever get, right? This is literally the best type of debt that is out there in the world. So <clears throat> if you're new to the channel, you're new to Holton Wise TV, you're new to real estate investing in general, and uh, you don't have lender contacts to, to loan you this money, just go ahead and send my team an email, sales at holtonwise.com, ask for our list of lenders, we'll get you set up with those folks. Um, as far as Anastasia and Or Oren goes, you guys, you guys have already got pre-approved. You're pre-approved to spend uh, up to 200K, and you got that 110K in cash. <clears throat> so I found you guys two properties. Uh, a little bit more about you guys. You guys already own uh, an out-of-state property. You've invested in New Jersey. Uh, we're going to be a lot cheaper here in the Cleveland market than uh, properties are in New Jersey. And, of course, you know, number one reason you're probably reaching out to Holton Wise TV and trying to invest out-of-state is because you live in San Francisco, uh, which is one of the you know most expensive places you can live in the world, right? You know, I got a 10 bedroom multifamily property that we're going to do in today's show. That's going to be the second property I do. And I'm assuming that 10 bedroom property is probably cheaper than like a, a studio condo, like a 200 square, 400 square foot condo that you'd find in San Francisco by a long shot. So uh, that's what we're doing. So let's get into the first property that I found for you folks. And that is... <clears throat> 4205 Valley Road, Cleveland, Ohio, 44109. This property was just recently listed by a real estate agent. Uh, he is part owner of the property, and he's an agent. He's working out of a company called Geisler Realty. The guy just listed it seven days ago. And when he listed it, he listed it for ninety nine thousand nine hundred. He just reduced the price the other day to ninety seven thousand nine hundred dollars. It's a pretty solid property. I like the property. I do not like the price necessarily, but we will get into that soon. Uh, right now, I just want to show you the property. It's just a solid old Brooklyn duplex. Now, right here, this is like your parking pad, right? Looks like we got gravel. 
Uh, at one point, there was a garage here. All of these duplexes in the Cleveland market on the west side, right? That's This is a west side neighborhood. This is about a C-class neighborhood. Uh, these are old. The housing stock is old, right? We're looking at uh, 1920s build type stuff. And a lot of the garages were these little lean-to garages, usually no power. And, uh, you know, over the course of them being 100 years old, they, you know, they become dilapidated. In this particular area, in the city of Cleveland itself, a garage is not required. So when they get so rough, it's uh, more cost effective to just tear them down. And that doesn't really affect the rental rate. It's not like you can't rent these particular properties out without a garage. So the fact that the garage is already gone is not really a negative. It's a positive. Uh, you know, I own many duplexes like this and at Holton Wise we manage hundreds of these duplexes and a large portion of them no longer have garages that's just the move now you got to be careful though because <clears throat> when you get into the suburbs of the Cleveland market that's not always the case some particular suburbs will actually require you uh, to rebuild garages if they're torn down so off the top of my head too that I know will do that are going to be Newburgh Heights and Garfield Heights but Cleveland itself this is in the city of Cleveland does not have that requirement so do not be afraid that there's no garage and uh, if you're ever out there looking at a property in Cleveland and the inspection comes back and the garage is just really crummy uh, that's probably not as big of a deal as you're thinking because you could just tear the sucker down for a couple grand and call it a day um, you know, nice layout in here, right? You know, we got some old carpets, so we're going to do cosmetic work. Uh, the kitchen, it's dated, right? But, you know, overall, the layout's good. Just a standard layout with one of these big old Brooklyn duplexes. Nothing special. Um, here, note that the two furnaces are definitely uh, older. So when you get your inspection report, if we move forward with this property, you know, these are definitely old furnaces. Uh, I would say they're at least 30 years old, if not like 40 or so. Hot water tank in the middle. I'm sure there's another one behind it. Hot water tanks typically last you about 15 years. Furnaces usually last you about 30. Like I said, I like the property. I don't really like the price. Um, <clears throat> the reason I do not like the price is because I think it's a little bit too high. I think this particular property should be worth about $80,000. And I think we could probably get the listing agent to come down to $80,000. Cool thing about this is I looked up the history of this property. Now, what I'm about to show you is what he bought it for. He literally just bought it in uh, November, right? So two months ago, this listing agent, he goes in, he buys the property. He buys it for $60,000. And then, of course, he puts it on the market at $99.9, doesn't sell. He drops it down $97. Uh, I don't think it's going to sell at $97 because I believe the perfect price for this is $80,000. I think that's what this particular property in this condition is worth. And that's $80,000 with the fact that things were dated inside and with the fact that we have old furnaces, old hot water tanks. I, I, I factored that in. But I think it will work. You know, I can't guarantee you this guy's going to take 80. I mean, he's probably, you know, he's obviously trying to maximize his investment, right? He's obviously an investor agent. That's what he does. He goes and he makes cash offers, and he's trying to turn it around for a quick buck. Uh, but, you know, if we if we, we go in at 80, he's going to make some money, okay? So it's not like uh, he buys it at 62 months ago and you're offering him 40. Like, he ain't going to do that deal, of course. That makes no damn sense. But he would still make some good money at 80, and I just don't think there's going to be a lot of folks bidding on it at 97. So I think $80,000 is what we're going to want to offer. Now, if we offer $80,000, if, if you lock it up for $80,000, what do I want you to do to the property? Well, we would want to put about $15,000 into the property. If we put about $15,000 into the property, so we buy it for 80, put 15 in, we're all in for 95,000. What would that get you? That would get you each unit which is rented at uh, each unit would be rented at 750 a month. Each unit's two beds, one bath. So you'd be able to bring in 1500 a month. And of that like $15,000, what do I want you to spend that on cosmetics, right? Going back to the photos, um let me see here. Let me get to that interior photo. Like the outside, this building looks solid. But like right here, right? <clears throat> from afar, from the pictures, this looks okay. But I guarantee you, you get up in there, you get all close in there. It's probably not that nice. What I'd like to see is I'd like to see us pull out this carpet. There's going to be nice hardwoods under there. I want to refinish those. I want to paint the walls gray. 
I want to go in and make this kitchen look a little bit nicer, look a little bit more updated, right? This is old, this is dated, this is funky. So we spent about 15 grand doing some cosmetic reno. Um, really get this thing spruced up. You'd be all in for about 95000 be able to bring in 1500 bucks a month. If you're bringing in 1500 a month, that's 18000 a year. But, of course, you're not going to get to keep all that. So you got your normal things you got to account for, right? Repairs and maintenance, vacancy and non-payment, capex. I want you to put 75 bucks in your pocket every month out of that rent. I don't mean we're necessarily going to spend 75 on each of those categories every month, right? You know, we do a $15,000 or so renovation once you buy it. You're probably not going to have to deal with any repairs till your next turnover, right? That's just how it is. But when your turnover happens, you're spending a few grand. Or like when you got to evict a tenant, you're spending several thousand dollars on doing that. Or when you're doing your capital expenditures, right? When you go to replace those old furnaces, like maybe those old furnaces work, right? But we know they're on their last legs. That doesn't mean you should necessarily, once you buy it immediately spend the money to replace the furnace if the furnace works just ride that sucker out right if it works it works and then the moment a tenant calls for a service call instead of spending a couple hundred bucks trying to fix it you know it's at the end of its life just go ahead and drop three thousand dollars get yourself a brand new furnace right that's why you're saving that 75 bucks a month it's not like it comes 75 in january 75 in february 75 in march you're gonna have like no cost and you're pocketing that money for when those big three thousand dollar items come or those for uh the hot water tanks rather right it's uh i said those last about 15 years okay that's a thousand dollars every time one of those goes down every 15 years or so you're spending a thousand big old duplex like this roof on that bad boy it's gonna last you about 30 years you're looking at seven to eight thousand so that's what you're accounting for taxes one 145 insurance 80 bucks uh click the show notes below if you want a quote on any rental property you own anywhere in the united states of america uh here at holton wise we also own a farmer's franchise and we also work with other insurance uh, providers and you know we sell it out we sub it out <clears throat> so you get farmers companies with us but you also get like Kraft Lake and just a ton of other insurance providers because what we do we specialize in getting you guys the lowest possible rate for rental properties you know you get a lot of folks they live out in San Francisco you have your insurance agents that's uh, you know He's insuring your own home or your car or your boat. And then you buy a, a rental property in the Midwest and, you know, it's a 100-year-old property. There's knob and tube wiring. You know, your insurance agent who's dealing with San Francisco properties, he's not used to that kind of thing. So uh, for rental properties, guys, you really want to go with a company like us that specializes in that. So anybody who's watching this here video, click in the show notes below. We'll try to lower your property because we, we have the contacts, right? We have the contacts to get this stuff as low as it can possibly be without doing major overhauls to these properties that are not necessary for the safety of the tenants. We don't make you jump through a bunch of random hoops that insurance agents who might not be familiar with the rental market uh, would lead you to believe you have to do just because they don't know. Water sewer, that's going to cost you about 150 a month on average. Uh, lawn care, 44. We cut the grass during the warm months here in Cleveland. Um, not during the winter, but it'll be 528 for the whole year. So that averages out to 44 a month. PM, property management, you got to pay us for our services. That's 150. So you're going to be bringing in 15. You're going to spend an average. That's an average. Not every month's going to be like that. Not every year's going to be like that. Not every property's going to be like that. But if you were to have like 100 properties just like this over the course of 10 years, I would anticipate that your overall average would end up with you spending approximately $794 a month per property, bringing in an NOI of $706, which would leave you with $8,472 on average per property for the year. Now, <clears throat> You want to finance it, of course. We want to stretch those funds. So what would that look like? First of all, just so you know, the property running those numbers, it, it pencils out to an 8.9 cap. If you financed it, you'd only need to put down 20000 so you have a $60,000 mortgage. Your mortgage payment's low, man, 304 So you're bringing home, on average, 706 You're spending 304 on that mortgage. That means in your pocket at the end of the day, you should be averaging 402 or 4824 a year, which pencils out to a 13.8% cap rate. For all you folks out there watching this video, if you're trying to follow along and learn how to do the numbers yourself, 
Once I got the net cash flow after mortgage of 4,824, you then take that number and divide that <clears throat> by the amount of upfront money you spent on your property. If you're buying a property with no upfront repairs, that number would be 20,000, which is our down payment. However, I did not divide it by 20,000. In this particular instance, I had to divide it by 35,000 because I'm anticipating approximately $15,000 in upfront repairs to be able to bring in to tenants paying 750 a month. So that's how I got 13.8%. Uh, if you're curious and if you're watching this video to try to do the numbers on your own properties. Um, just so you guys know, I sent this video out to Anastasia and Oren probably two months ago. If anybody else who's watching this wants to get a video like this where I take your criteria, I, I, I take all the things that you guys want to do, the amount of money you have, and I, I scour the MLS for you. I try to find you deals that fit your wants and needs. You go to the Property Search for Sale tab. You go down here to the MLS Search and Analysis Show. And then all of the varying products and services we offer with these one-on-one -on -one analysis will be in there. And if you scroll all the way down to the bottom, we have our real-time MLS feed. So if you're a particular person who knows what you want, you know the type of risk level you want, and you don't think uh, paying me to do one of these personalized analysis is the best use of your funds, that's totally cool. Uh, for only 30 bucks, $29.99, you can get my direct broker access to the MLS. So if you know you want C-class duplexes, but you're not in the Cleveland market, pick yourself up a feed for 30 bucks. The moment C-class du uh, duplexes go on the market, you're going to get an email. You know it the moment I know it. And if you want, you could have us be your buyer's agent, um, but you'd have to get one of these full-on analysis for us to do that. We have too many folks reaching out to us. Uh, we need to know you're serious, and we need to go through the steps to ensure we're all on the same page. So that's, what's, that's what these analysis are for. Um, but that doesn't mean you can't take the feed product, get the data, get the information, know what you want to offer, and just reach out to that listing agent directly. We're a la carte here at Holton Wise. So whatever you need from us, we're here to provide it. Um, if you need the whole shebang, we'll do the whole shebang. If you need just a little bit of stuff, we'll do just a little bit of stuff. In addition, the Investment Properties for Sale show. This is the show we email you guys every day at 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time with the properties we are selling. We are the number one seller of rentals in the Cleveland market. Uh, so you'll get a full in-depth analysis similar to this every single day with a video tour of the property every single day sent right to your email box at 1 p.m. If, of course, you're subscribed to Holt Wise TV here on YouTube and if you click the show notes below to subscribe to our mailing list. Now, we're going to go to a word from the sponsor of today's show. Then I'm going to get into the second property I found for Anastasia and Oren. U.S. Reeb is a full-service turnkey provider offering investors the opportunity to purchase single-family and multi-family investment properties in Cincinnati, Ohio, Dayton, Ohio, and Kansas City, Missouri. The purchase process is seamless, from reserving a property to obtaining financing, inspections, and insurance referrals, U.S. Reeb has a dedicated team in place to manage the process from start to finish. In addition, U.S. Reeb is also directly integrated with its own private placement fund for accredited investors. The fund seeks to raise $10 million to capitalize on the repositioning of distressed single-family and multifamily real estate. All right, guys, welcome back. Now, <clears throat> the second property I found for you, we're going up on the asset class, and of course we're going to go up uh, on the cost, right? 3166 East Derbyshire Road, Cleveland Heights, 44118. This one was listed 19 days ago, and this was listed for $185,000. This thing is a beast, a big old brick monster. You only have two photos, uh, just two exterior photos here. <clears throat> but I really, really love a lot of things about this duplex. Now, this thing is huge. This is a Five bedroom, two bathroom duplex, and this is a side by side. So one unit's over here, the other unit's over here. It comes with separate um, basements as well. So, you know, this thing is just literally split down the middle. So you get multiple floors. It looks like three floors plus your basement. Totally separate living. If you ever have the opportunity to buy a duplex and you have the opportunity to buy a side by side versus an up down, 
go with the side by side every single time. Side by sides are going to have lower turnover, lower tenant problems, higher rent, and just altogether, in my opinion, a much better investment. It's much more similar to a single family home than an up down duplex is, right? With an up down duplex, you always have somebody living above or below you. Here, you don't have that, and we even have separate basements. So, what that means might not sound like a big deal, but it is. Uh, in a traditional up down duplex, which is the vast majority of the you know the duplexes out here in the Cleveland market, probably like 95% of them are the up downs with the shared basement. So these side by sides are very very rare, but they're awesome, right? And then up down laundry, right? Your laundry's in that shared basement, so the other tenant is in the same area that your washer and dryer is. So you can't like leave all your clothes down there, or you can't store things down there. And you know you 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 don't know your neighbors, right? You know people like privacy, right? Um, you know if you're out there living in a single family home, I'm sure you prefer your own private laundry room versus going to like a laundromat, right? Same concept here. So with side by side and separate basements, you get your own private laundry room. So that is key, man. So with this particular property, it's also in a nicer area. All right, it's Cleveland Heights, so we're gonna get a ton of rent with the fact that we have five bed, two baths. We currently have one tenant in there already. They're paying 1220 a month. The other unit is occupied by a longtime owner, right? He owns this property. He's living there. Once we remove him, once he sells the property, probably to you, we'll be able to rent that unit for $1,400 a month. So we'll be able to bring in $2,620 a month or $31,440 a year. Now, as far as... Just buying it, you don't get to just buy it and uh, just slap a tenant in there for 1400 You're going to have to do a little bit of work. Obviously, he's been living there for a long time. So what I have done uh, on this next chart, I have put a total renovation cost of approximately $10,000. Now, as you'll notice, too, for the purchase price, I have it down at one seventy-five. This thing is listed at one eighty-five, but I believe we can go in there and we could negotiate a little bit. And I would aim to get this for you at 175. You know, perhaps we'd want to make an opening bid of $170,000, and maybe we get negotiated up to 175. And then you're factoring in once the owner occupied um, occupant, once the owner occupant, once he moves out, spend $10,000 sprucing up his unit, get 1,400 in rent. What would this look like as far as our costs? Well, same thing as before, all the same stuff we talked about in the previous property. Um, repairs and maintenance, 131. Vacancy and non-payment, 131. CapEx, 131. Now, if you'll notice, these numbers are a little bit higher than the, the previous property, right? Our repairs and our maintenance, they're going to be higher because we have a lot more space, right? We, we have a 10-bedroom property versus a 4-bedroom property, right? So whenever we do a turnover, our turnovers are going to be more expensive. Whenever we have vacancy, it's going to cost you more money because instead of a $750 loss from not getting $750 in rent, you're getting a $1,400 loss. However... Uh, it's a double-edged sword, which in this case is good for you because uh, we're in a nicer neighborhood. Um, so when you are missing your rent, yes, you'll lose out on more money. But we're in a nicer neighborhood, and we've got side-by-side -side properties here. So you're going to have fewer turnovers. So all in all, this is a very solid asset, but that is why the numbers are a little bit higher. Taxes in this particular municipality are a little bit higher, too. So 518 Insurance should be 100 bucks. Same thing as before. If you guys want us to quote you on any properties you got, click the show notes below. Water sewer, estimating 150 a month. Lawn care, 44 Property management, 200 That's The other thing about uh, buying nicer, more expensive properties that have higher rents. Here at Holton Wise, we charge you 10% of the rent, but we cap it at 100 bucks a unit, right? So um, you guys save a little bit money doing it that way, right? Because here's the deal, guys. A $500 a month tenant or a $1,500 a month tenant, the $500 a month tenant is a ton more work to deal with for a property manager than that $1,500 a month tenant. So we do cap it. We reward you for buying nicer assets in nicer neighborhoods that have nicer tenants because it, of course, reduces our workload as your property manager. So, again, this is just an estimate. Should be expecting to spend, on average, fourteen oh five of that twenty six twenty every single month, bringing you an NOI of 1215 Now, that would be a 7.9 cap, okay? 
if you were to finance this, you'd only need to put down $43,750. You'd have a small mortgage of six sixty-five. So your net cash flow after your mortgage would be five fifty or sixty-six hundred a year. And to get your cash on cash return, remember you got to divide that sixty-six hundred by your down payment. But remember, I'm factoring in that you're going to also want to spend approximately ten large to fix up the unit of the owner occupant. So I divided the sixty-six by fifty-three thousand seven. 150, which gives us a cash on cash return of 12.28%. Both of the properties I've presented to you today are of, in my opinion, solid deals. If you can swing buying both of them, which I believe you could, I think you should. One thing I want to make clear to you, the agent that listed this, they're uh, working out a key realty. Uh, Cleveland Heights has what's called a point of sale. Uh, for more information on point of sales, in the show notes below, I'm going to link to a video we just put out. We did a highlight video on the This is Holton Wise TV series uh, where we really explain the point of sale process uh, and like what they are pretty easy. So you definitely want to check that out. But more or less, there's going to be violations on this particular property. And you have two choices here. The seller can clear them before it sells or you, the buyer, can assume them. Now, the way that this listing agent and this particular seller want to work this, they are not willing to order the point of sale report right now, so we don't know what those violations are going to be. They're going to wait till they enter a contract with somebody, and then it's going to be negotiated out. So what we want to do, we want to make our offer. Let's assume we come in at 170, but we get everybody to accept 175. We want to make our offer of $175,000 contingent on the seller providing us a clear POS. I would assume they'd probably sign off on something like that. Now, here's what you got to understand, though. When those point of sale uh, violation reports come out, sometimes these sellers, especially like an owner-occupied seller who's dealing with an agent who primarily works with owner-occupied buyers, they may not be used to the point of sale process like we are here at Holton Wise, and they may get a bunch of uh, violations that they're not really able to actually correct, right? Some big things that they look at like with this being a brick property, they're going to look at the brick, probably tuck pointing, and they also look at the concrete. Now, as I talk to you today, it's January. Um, we don't cut your grass in January at Holton Wise because it's freaking cold here in Cleveland. At the same, on the same token, we can't replace concrete. We can't do concrete work and some tuck pointing work we can't do when it's really, really cold. So we're going to say we're under contract at 175 contingent on them clearing off that POS. I just want you to be aware that it's very possible that when they actually get that inspection report, they find that there is problems that they are not, they don't have the ability to correct. So what we'd want to do, the fact that you can assume those violations and have Holton Wise correct all of them for you in the springtime, we want to leverage that and try to get a nice discount for you. So if the amount of work is approximately $10,000, we might be able to, to take the problem off their hands. We might be able to convince them to give us like a twelve dollars or $15,000 discount, something of that nature. In my opinion, when you're selling properties that have point of sale, uh, you always want to order it first. But again, owner, not necessarily familiar with this. You know, you, most owners, right, they're, they're, they're buying a home, they're living there. They might only buy or sell one to two or three homes their entire lifetime. Whereas, you know, we at Holton Wise, we sell hundreds and hundreds a year. So they're not necessarily familiar with the process. And if uh, you notice in most markets, um, real estate agents, 99% of them, you know, what they do is they sell homes to people that are going to live in them. Most real estate agents do not focus their business on investment properties like we do at Holton Wise. So they may also not be familiar with the point of sale stuff because the majority of the municipalities in the Cleveland market, they actually have point of sale requirements are a lot of the neighborhoods where you see like a ton of rental properties. Um, a lot of our suburbs uh, where you have like expensive properties and a lot of like high-end realtors they don't have point of sale requirements cleveland heights is probably one of the nicer areas in the entire cleveland market that does have point of sale requirements whereas cleveland itself it doesn't a lot of the suburbs don't um, but some of the lower uh, echelon suburbs like the c-class stuff like uh, i mentioned earlier garfield heights and newburgh heights they do have these point of sales but you know the agent they may not be familiar with it they may be working in a lot of municipalities where you don't see a lot of that stuff because a lot of the areas where there's just a ton of owner occupied folks you really don't see the point of sale um, so that's that's pretty much everything um, for you folks today 
If you want to make an offer on one or both of these properties, all you got to do, send an email to sales at holtonwise.com and uh, let us know what you'd like to offer. Um, we're going to want to include your proof of funds, your pre-approval letter, rather. I know you guys are approved, so we're going to want to include that stuff when we present the offer to these listing agents. And you don't have to uh, take my... Um, <clears throat> my bidding suggestions, like it's not like I said, hey, this is what I think you should do, and you don't have to just do that. You know, work with me and my team back and forth. Tell us what you want to do, because ultimately it's your investment, it's your property. So we will present the offer that you want presented to the sellers. I'm giving you my advice on what I think we can work out to make a good deal and actually get it accepted. Um, so if you want to offer like $60,000 on this $200,000 property, that's probably not going to happen. Um, I just want to give you reasonable expectations. But again, it is your money. It's your investment. Uh, so, you know, you guys got the video analysis. I've given you all the information. It's up to you to tell us what you'd like to offer. And then we will do our best to negotiate with those sellers to try to get you guys the best possible deal. And, of course, my team will be there to schedule your inspections because, yes, these analyses are incredibly important. But that does not take the place of of a general home inspection. You guys ordered a desktop analysis product. Everything I've done, I've done it from here, from this desk. I do not go into attics. I do not crawl under porches. I do not inspect your foundations, but there are folks who do that, and you absolutely need to spend the money hiring them. You never, ever, ever want to buy a long distance property sight unseen without getting an inspection. Getting what I'm doing, very important to help you protect your funds but this does not take the place of that. So make sure you do that due diligence. And that is for properties you're buying here in the Cleveland market that Holton Wise is handling top to bottom for you or any of our a la carte services. If you go with another property management company, whatever, that's totally fine. Uh, you just want to make sure you do that due diligence. And that is also for all of the other turnkey providers that we are showing and highlighting for you guys here on Holton Wise TV. So our folks down in Alabama, our folks down in Memphis, our folks down in Indy, all of those other markets, make sure you're doing your due diligence. There's always going to be risk in real estate, but if you do the proper due diligence, you're going to mitigate that risk as much as humanly possible. And hopefully you won't end up with some of the stories that the alleged Morris and best victims have. That's all I've got for you guys today. As always, I'm James Wise with Holton Wise, and this is Real Estate Investing Made Easy. For the price, I mean, this is actually a really nice house. A little bit more rough, a little more ragged. It's going to keep those values high. Here's quarter mile comps. There's $260,000 houses right down the street. You'll be able to put your offer through me, and then after you close, Holton Wise, we can handle the property management. We'll even be able to help you with the insurance. We have lenders who will write loans for investors in all 50 states. This deal is 100% James Wise approved. James Wise denied. Discount Property Warehouse, founded by real estate visionary Robert Thiel, author of The Short-Term Retirement Program, is a complete turnkey solution for acquiring cash-flowing investment properties in Memphis, Tennessee. Our turnkey properties include a third-party home inspection, new HVAC with 10-year warranties, new dimensional roofs, competitive price-to-rent ratios, discounted property insurance, in-house property management, private financing, and much more. At Discount Property Warehouse, we have a staff of licensed agents standing by, ready to assist you with every aspect of the process. Call us today or visit us online at discountpropertywarehouse.com. Cleveland, Ohio is widely considered to be one of the top rental markets in the entire United States. This is because here in Cleveland, our housing prices are low and our rental prices and demand are high. At Holton Wise, we provide the complete turnkey solution for all real estate investors, whether they are local, out of state, or even abroad. As real estate brokers, we will provide you with agent representation to help you buy properties ranging from single family homes to large apartment complexes. We even have referrals for lenders who can provide investment property loans to investors located in all 50 states 
allowing you to capitalize on the use of leverage or other people's money. We have referrals to top-notch title companies so you know that all of your transactions are safe and secure, with every single property being delivered to you with clear title. Once you close on the property, we have an investor-focused insurance brokerage who can handle all your property insurance needs. This insurance brokerage handles auto, home, life, and business policies, but they specialize in working with policies for landlords. We also have full service property management. We can handle all rental property advertisements, tenant placement, rent collection, evictions, maintenance, landscaping, construction, and repairs. In addition, Holton Wise also offers digital media and education. One day, when you are ready to sell your investment, Holton Wise, as the number one seller of investment properties in the greater Cleveland area, can market your property in a video, just like this one, to our worldwide base of investors who are looking to capitalize on the high cash flow opportunities in the Cleveland, Ohio market. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe to our channel so you don't miss out on our latest content including video tours and analysis of investment properties that are available for sale, real estate investment education, and our most interesting encounters with tenants from hell. Holton Wise, real estate investing made easy.